Brad, let's start with you. And I mean, your note made tons of headlines all weekend because you are one of the people who do think this will have a big impact on Facebook's business. How big and what options do they have to address it? Yeah, it's a, I mean, they really do need to address this in a way that advertisers and companies really see fit. And uh, I mean, clearly a majority, you know, the lion's share of revenue at the company comes from advertising. That's no surprise. Um, you know, the, the one thing, if you look at the Facebook platform, it's really, it's still considered a must have. And uh, as uh, I pointed out earlier, it, you really get a really good return on investment at, um, you know, with those ad dollars. Now, the thing that we have to watch is currently a lot of these advertising companies or ad dollars that are being moved away are either for the month of July or domestically. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you look at the NAACP and the ADL, they really are pulling for this global pull. If you do get a global pullback, this will have a longer term impact. Um, you know, wait to be seen. Like all of a sudden, if you get good return on investment from Pinterest, uh, Snap or some of these other platforms, maybe these advertisers really start to really spend at these other platforms as well. Interesting. So a company like Clorox had just announced its boycott through year end. If they put those marketing dollars to work on other social media platforms and like what they get, they might not put as many back with Facebook. Because you're, you're saying that Facebook needs to address this issue quickly and effectively in order to stop advertising exits from potentially spiraling out of control. What does addressing this issue effectively look like? I mean, that, that's the that's the trillion dollar question, right? I, I think uh, Zuckerberg needs to come out and and have a plan to really stop some of this these these the hate speech and really have a good and a real detailed policy, not just a, a near term band aid, but need to have a policy at the company that these other um, you know customers of theirs feel comfortable advertising on their platform. Right now, there's a lot of things that that go under. Um, sort of under the hood. And you know, I think these companies are just fed up with it. So um, now will they do it? Again, Facebook is one of the best platforms overall to use advertising to get the broadest reach for the for the customer. But I, I, I do expect uh, Zuckerberg and company to do something to address this. What exactly? That's the, that's the great question. I think they have to really beef up and look into their plan, but they can't let it slide. I, I think there's too much at stake. You still have a $250 price target on the stock, about, I think, about $40, $30, $40 from where we are today. So it's not as if, uh, for you, this is a selling opportunity of Facebook per se. Um, but I am curious if the company just waits this out for a few months when the world turns its attention elsewhere. You know, look what happened after Cambridge Analytica. The stock was in the 100s back then. Everybody left. Everybody, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, came back. Is the same thing going to happen this time? Yeah, and, and Kelly, it's such a good question. I, I think, I mean, you're addressing some of the most important points here. Right? So first of all, I, I mean, this is this is the best platform with the broadest reach on the planet. So, you know, will it go away? Very unlikely. I, I think the, the real thing to watch here is, you know, how quickly do they address and are they able to address these concerns in a manner that really appeals to their customer base? And I think given how bad things have gotten, they're going to, they're going to need to. So um, the overall net is, I mean, even to your point, Clorox just a, a few moments ago announced they're pulling Unilever, which they're pulling a significant portion, but they were only pulling, pulling domestic, not global spend. I think you're going to see more and more join, the, join this. I think it's going to have a near-term impact for sure. It's almost impossible for them not to see and get a hit to near-term financials. That being said, on the medium to long term, I, I think this company is still a must have in terms of advertising spend and broad reach. Mm -hmm. So uh, I do expect the company to come with a policy that does make sense. What exactly does that entail is the greatest question, but yeah. I do expect them to do something that addresses it. All right, Brad, again, it's good to have you today. Thank you. Brad Gasworth is chief technology strategist with Wedbush. Let's turn to Casey Newton now, the Verge of Silicon Valley editor. And Casey, I'm actually going to start with a different news piece that just came in, maybe illustrates uh, kind of what Brad was just talking about. Reddit said it's going to, let me make sure I get the language right, ban hundreds of subreddits uh, where they say there's been a problem with hate speech, and that includes uh, the Trump, the sort of pro-Trump Reddit. What does this announcement say to you, and, and does it have any bearing on the discussion we were just having about how Facebook moderates its platform? Well, clearly there is a lot of discussion right now about what platforms should do about the hate speech that gets put onto their platforms. And for years now, Reddit has staked out a position of being an extremely pro-speech, pro-expression environment. Uh, but they've also been under increasing pressure, especially this month with all the Black Lives Matter protests, to do something about some of the explicit hate speech and incitements to violence that they've been seeing on their platform. And so today, they rewrote their content policy based 
basically, and their new new first rule uh, explicitly bans hate speech. And so as a result, as you mentioned, uh, the Donald is going away along with a number of other uh, subreddits who have violated their rules. So for Reddit, this really is a, a major announcement. 